I spent a lot of time traveling the world, learning about other cultures, and my perspective of home has changed. Over the next few days, I want to challenge my perception of Saskatoon and Saskatchewan and learn more about the history of the people who have called this area home for thousands of years. I just finished paddling the Chief Whitecap Waterway here in downtown Saskatoon, and now I'm meeting up with Jennifer and Erin Marie from the Gordon Tatusis Niganawan Theatre. I love where we are. We have a good strong connection with 20th Street because we've been here for uh, a number of years. So we like having this community that they stop by and, you know, come see what we're about. I really thank the, the theater for helping me find my way to my identity. I think it's a very inclusive space for anyone to express themselves. Something that really helped me growing up was listening to stories and storytelling is also a ceremony where I come from and to share that with a community in an Indigenous setting for me is really important because that's how we learn as a community and how we heal and grow. This has been my safe place, my peaceful place. Wanaskewin loosely translates into sanctuary, seeking peace of mind into English from Cree. This dress, to my understanding, came to the people as a healing dress. For me, that dress has been a source of empowerment, a source of hope. That dress has given me that confidence and courage to stand up here and speak my truths and share with other people. singing since I was just a little boy, since I was about 12 years old, kind of just grew into it. I have uh, uncles and older cousins that have been singing for a long time and I just kind of grew into it naturally. My dad taught me that it's like another form of prayer, so each and every day I just like performing for people, you know, just um, letting them feel the good vibes from the drum. I really love this park just because when I was younger I came out here for the first time and experienced the culture in a really good way. Fast forward a couple years, I'm in university, I'm taking my archaeology degree and I did my field school out here so I spent a whole summer digging up the history and enjoying every part of it. And now I'm here, I get to share my love for the park, the history, what people did here. So what we're doing today is actually doing the bison hunt program. Essentially, I'm going to be talking you through three different technologies that they used kind of throughout time. The atlatl, bone arrow, and the spear. This journey through Saskatoon was about visiting incredible locations. But as I visited each one, I began to realize it wasn't about the location at all. It was about the people and the stories we shared and the connections we made in each of those places. <laughs> 